Commercial space travel has started worldwide in 2021, and the demand for zero-gravity flight has also been increasing. In Japan, Astrax has been providing zero-gravity flight services using an aircraft owned by Diamond Air Service since 2012. In the case of a simple experiment, called a simple zero-gravity experiment, the experiment can be completed simply by boarding the zero-gravity airplane on the day of the flight. In the case of television filming, however, it is necessary to conduct in-flight checks and rehearsals in advance using the actual aircraft. The actual aircraft is usually used for other flight services, making it difficult to use it for in-flight checks and rehearsals in advance. To accommodate this issue, Astrax has developed a simulator that can be used for in-flight checks and rehearsals using a zero-gravity aircraft, as well as for education and training for personnel involved. In this paper, the outline and functions of the simulator developed by Astrax will be introduced, and its usage and future possibilities will also be presented. 1. Introduction Astrax is conducting various demonstrations to develop services for spaceflight using the zero-gravity flight service provided by Diamond Air Service, the only company in Japan that provides zero-gravity flight services. The aircraft used for this purpose is the Mu-300, a small jet manufactured by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, Limited, An education and training simulator that simulates the interior of an Mu-300 modified for zero-gravity flight was developed, and the base was completed in February 2023. For its simulator, Astrax uses a camping trailer, named Argosy, manufactured by Airstream in the US, which has the necessary equipment to verify and evaluate in advance the experiments and missions that customers will perform during zero-gravity flights. The structural part of the trailer is made to simulate the structure of the actual MU-300 for zero-gravity flight, and the filming and lighting equipment is installed as is with the equipment that Astrax actually uses when it conducts microgravity flights with the actual aircraft, and sends it to the site when it flies in zero gravity. This paper will summarize the Mu-300 modified for zero gravity flight, and the outline, functions, usage, future modification plan, and possible future usage of the zero gravity aircraft education and training simulator developed by Astrax. 2. Zero Gravity Aircraft Mu-300 2.1 Overview of Mu-300 The Mitsubishi Mu-300, Diamond 1 the base of the zero-gravity aircraft used by Astrax for its zero-gravity flight service, is a small jet developed by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries Limited in 1981. Today, a total of more than 900 aircraft in the series are still in service around the world. The Japanese self-defense forces have also introduced the T-400 as a training plane. The aircraft cost approximately 700 million yen at the time of its launch. The Mu-300 has been modified for zero-gravity flight by Diamond Air Service, and Astrax charters and operates the aircraft. Astrax Zero-Gravity Aircraft Education and Training Simulator Astrax has developed a zero-gravity flight simulator to simulate in advance the zero-gravity aircraft and actual zero-gravity flight services described in Section 2, and uses it for education, training, pre-mission verification, and promotional filming. Details of the Zero Gravity Flight Education and Training Simulator are presented below. Appearance of the Simulator The Astrax Zero Gravity Aircraft Education and Training Simulator is made from the inside of an old American camping trailer, Argosy made by Airstream. Since the simulator simulates only the interior of an aircraft, its exterior remains that of a camping trailer. In addition, the actual aircraft, MU-300, has the entrance door on the left side toward the direction of travel, but the Argosy has the entrance door on the right side toward the direction of travel, so that part is different from the actual one. The side of the door has an air conditioner, which is not present in the actual aircraft, so when using the simulator, the door and the air conditioner section should be considered as if they were not there. Entrance door. The entrance door is located on the right side toward the direction of travel, which is different from the actual zero-gravity aircraft, the actual aircraft is on the left side. In the simulation, this door is treated as if it were not there. Cockpit. The cockpit does not simulate the actual aircraft, it remains the driver's seat of the Airstream Argosy, as it is not required for the customer's missions. Forward windows. The windows are basically irrelevant to the mission, so the printed images are pasted. In the actual aircraft, one of the windows on the left side in the direction of travel is located at the entrance door, but in this simulator there is no door on the left side, and instead there is an air conditioner in that area so the window can be detached. Forward seatings, bench seat. As in the actual aircraft, there is a bench seat for three people facing sideways behind the pilot's seat. 
Underneath each seat is a storage compartment for experimental equipment, free area space and aft seats. The free area at the aft of the aircraft is made the same size as the actual aircraft, with cushion mats on the walls and floor surfaces on both sides. Two seats are located at the behind. Although it looks different from the actual aircraft, it does not affect the mission, so there is no problem. Windows of free area. The windows of the free area are also shown in the image attached. As in the actual aircraft, there are six windows, three on each side. In the future, acrylic panels will be affixed so that GoPro cameras can be installed using suction cup attachments. Floor of free area. The floor of the free area is covered with four separate cushion mats, just as in the actual aircraft. These mats can be removed, but no rails for mounting equipment have yet been installed on the floor under the mats, only carpeting. Forward net and aft net of free area. As in the actual aircraft, nets are installed at the forward and aft of the free area. In the future, it will be possible to further install a sheet for curing on top of this net. Filming and lighting equipment, individual photographs and descriptions. Video camera for filming. Two GoPro Hero 10 video cameras are installed on the forward side of the free area as in the actual aircraft. Although the locations of the cameras can be moved, they are usually mounted on the pole securing the net at the forward side of the free area to capture images of the entire free area. If necessary, the forward bench seat side can be videoed, or it can be fixed to a window to capture close-ups of the hand of the zero-gravity experiment. In addition, a Canon IVIS Mini-X digital video camera is mounted on the top of the net on the aft side of the free area so that the entire free area can be filmed from the aft. These are only for simulation purposes, so they are used to check the installation position and angle of view, but actual recording may be done when shooting promotional videos. Photography Camera A Nikon D780 single-lens reflex camera, which is used to take photographs of the actual aircraft, can be used to take photographs. A flash is also used to take pictures, allowing for high-quality, clear photos to be taken. At the same time, the iPhone is also used to take photographs as needed. Lighting equipment. The lighting systems are similar to that of the actual simulator, and are fixed to poles that hold the forward net of the free area so that the free area can be illuminated from both sides. Since the simulator has an electrical outlet, it normally uses power from the outlet and switches to battery power when necessary. Table for simple experiments. Some of the experiments conducted in actual zero-gravity aircraft use a table, a stick-on bar, on which panels can be placed if necessary. To hold the equipment and tools necessary for the experiments. The table can be set up in the simulator as well. This allows for the evaluation of preliminary arrangements for experiments using the table. Flight suit. Zero gravity flight suits are also provided for filming in the simulator. There are 12 suits in various sizes. Other functions. The simulator is equipped with a power outlet and an air conditioner, and portable batteries and portable air conditioners can be used as needed. In addition, the Airstream Argosy in which the simulator is located is a self-propelled camping trailer, so the entire simulator can be moved around as needed. Location of the simulator. The simulator is installed in the Airstream Argosy, which is located in the Astrax Space Business Creation, R&D, Education and Training Center, Astrax Space Center, in Chiba, Japan. Actual use examples of the simulator. 1. Rehearsal use for TV program shooting. 2. Space singer Mika Islam's PV shooting. 3. Photos shooting for Space Beer PR. 4. Visiting, experiencing, and photographing children. 5. Evaluation in comparison with actual equipment. The reproducibility of the simulator does not accurately simulate the actual equipment, so it will be necessary to make minor adjustments by comparing it with the actual equipment as necessary in the future. 6. Future simulator renovation plans. Astrax plans to upgrade the zero gravity aircraft education and training simulator and various facilities to improve services. Upgrade items envisioned for the future are listed below. 6.1 GoPro camera augmentation. Two GoPro Hero 11s and one GoPro Max 360 degree camera will be added to the facility to enable filming at various locations without having to move the cameras. 6.2 Simplification of LED lighting. The LED lighting currently used is large and powerful, using two batteries, but in the future, we plan to offer a choice of smaller LED lights, running on a single battery, if needed. 6.3 Acrylic panels on windows. 
acrylic panels will be installed on the surface of all window images to allow GoPro cameras and other suction cup attachments to be mounted. 6.4. Produce dark curtains and removable curing sheets for the behind. A dark curtain for the behind and a detachable curing sheet for experiments with liquids will be prepared for PV and TV shooting to be provided during simulations and actual flights. 6.5. Introduction of Amazon's Alexa. Due to the small space in the simulator, it is not possible for many people to enter the simulator. Therefore, the simulator will be connected to the Astrax Space Mission Support Control Center via the Internet, and voice control devices such as Amazon's Alexa will be installed so that each device in the simulator can be controlled by voice. 7. Future Utilization Plan Astrax plans to conduct the following activities using these simulators. 7.1. Basic Education and Training for Commercial Astronauts and Passengers customers of zero gravity aircrafts astrax needs to develop and increase the number of passengers who will fly in zero gravity aircrafts and the number of personnel who will support the passengers missions on board 7.2 rehearsals specific image training and rehearsals will be conducted in accordance with the mission of the zero gravity astronauts and passengers customers who have decided to fly in zero gravity 7.3 promotional filming using the simulator Promotional videos and photographs related to zero gravity flight will be taken without leaving the ground. 7.4. Exhibiting at exhibitions, etc. The simulator will be exhibited at various events and exhibitions held in Japan so that many people can experience it. 8. Conclusions. The zero gravity aircraft education and training simulator presented in this paper was recently completed at the end of February 2023 and has not been used much yet. But as space travel services begin around the world and many ordinary people are becoming able to go to space, the demands for zero-gravity flights for preliminary evaluation of space missions are expected to increase. Astrax has been providing zero-gravity flight services since 2012, and has conducted many missions and analyzed the needs of its customers, see other paper 79 in reference. Based on the results of the needs analysis, it is necessary to make the simulator easy to pre-evaluate the needs of those with high needs. We will continue to upgrade this simulator and aim to improve the quality of zero-gravity flight services and space flight services in the future.